Hey, uh, it's Ted here, and uh, forty-seven percenter, you know, living down to expectations, sitting on the front porch. Uh, yes, six thirty in the morning. The sun ain't come up yet, and uh, stars are out. It's pretty cool out here. I want to tell you something. It's pretty cool. I saw this. Uh, um, article on uh, New Science. It says uh, newly spotted comet may outshine the full moon. You need to check this out. Go to NewScience.com, and uh, it says um, it says today, today the newfound comet seen above is just a tiny dot. Of course, that's uh, they got a a graphic, but in a year. It might be one of the brightest objects in the night sky. Cool. Well, there's another reason to hang on for another year, man. I can't wait to see that because I love the night sky and stars and shit. And I want to know what's up there. Let me tell you a little story. Uh, I've done a lot of research. I research everything in check out um you know ufos and shit <laughs> i like ufos reading about what's going on there's some shit going on you can't uh you know people say it's it's a lot of bullshit but there's a lot of evidence and there's a lot of pictures and a lot of stuff but it's not clear enough but uh you know you choose to believe what you want to it's what most people do anyway but here's here's the thing um uh, I've done a lot of research, but I've never seen anything. I always wanted to until about mm, three or four weeks ago. I was outside about 9 30 or so at night. It was at night. And I was, um, we were in the front yard doing something at night. My son was doing something. Maybe he's building a fire, I forget. Anyway. No, I don't know what he's doing. But anyway, I had to go to my shop around back. See? Get some tools or something. Damn, I can't remember what it was for. Nah. Anyway. I go back around to my shop and, and I look out. I'm always, you know, when the stars are out, I'm looking up. You know, I like sitting out here in the morning seeing the stars over my head. So I looked out uh, up to the north over my shop, and uh, man, it was bright light. I mean, it was like a uh, like a spotlight in the sky, like a you know the, the light on the front of an airplane, which is what I thought it was uh, for a minute because uh, Nagadoches Airport's just uh, you know 20 miles north, and the planes fly final uh, right off the end of the airport, right over the house here. But uh, this thing was like moving. It was moving across the sky to the west. And I'm thinking, oh man, that's a uh, a satellite or something. You know, it says in, in the sky. And then, uh, oh, guess what? Oh, it moved about 15 degrees, compensating or so. And then it stopped. It just stopped. And I'm thinking, what the fuck, man? So I'm, I'm looking at this thing. And I look at it. And I can see that there's a bright light. And above it, there's a colored light. The bright light was white. And above it, was colored lights. They were like pulsing. It's like red, blue, and green. Now airplanes have, you know, red and blue, but they don't have green. So I'm thinking, this is cool. 
I am seeing a UFO. I saw this sucker. After all the research, after reading everything, after seeing all the videos, man, I saw it. I, I think it's down there. Whoa, baby. It's just sitting there. And then it just, it just slowly kind of moved down a little. You know, just, just a few degrees on the horizon. It was just uh, that right down kind of the top of the trees. And I said, uh, I'm watching the UFO. I don't know what the hell that thing is, but it, it, it's, it, it's not. It's not an airplane. It's not a helicopter. It, it's not a satellite. It's not, you know, the space station, which is something I thought it might have been. And, uh, no. I don't know what it was. But I know what it wasn't. So I called family. I yelled at the family. I gotta have some witnesses on this thing. Gotta show them what I got here. And, uh, so I called them. They come running out there. My boy did. And I said, look. And I showed him. He goes, wow. And I said, go get your mother. And he wouldn't. He went and told her to come in there. Out there. And she said, I ain't coming out there. Said, go get your mother. I finally got her out there. When I did, she goes, wow. Stood there. And we watched it. We tried to get pictures of it. Try to get my, uh, what do you call it, uh, not telescope, I have a telescope, I never have been able to use that damn thing. Uh, I can't see through it very well. But I never could, you know, zoom in, we, we got it on the um, binoculars, but it was, you know, just a brighter light, you couldn't tell anything. But the thing just, uh, it, it moved down, and, and then it, it actually moved up a little bit. And then it just moved down and it stayed there. It just sat there. It didn't go anywhere. Over half an hour. Stood there and watched that thing. Well, you know, the family went back inside. But I stood there and watched it some more. And then eventually it just kind of uh, settled down. You know, past the trees. But an hour later, I, I was pretty sure I could see it through the trees. I called MUFON and reported that thing. And uh, they called me and everything. And took a report. I'm not sure that guy even believed me. But I don't give a damn if you believe me or not. I saw a fucking UFO in our sky. And I looked up on, uh, on the net. And there's been uh, quite a few of those reported in East Texas. Same thing. And uh, pretty much, uh, you know, kind of in the same direction. I don't know what it was. I know what it wasn't. It wasn't anything that you normally see in the sky. So you can believe this shit or not. I don't care. But I saw a UFO. And that was totally cool. And next year, if we're lucky, we're going to see this comet. That might be brighter than the moon. Totally, totally cool. Yeah. How about that? <laughs>